Hi Leo, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Leo placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles, take what resonates, leave it open for your situation, guys. Thank you so much for your love, your support, your donations, and booking your personal readings with me. Sending you a lot of love and light and happiness to you on your journeys. Okay, um, my personal readings are not open right now, but I will let you know um, and announce it on my community tab when I do open them back up. Um, Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the, pay, uh, the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platform, okay? So let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm uh, Leo and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones returning back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages from my Leos. And protect me as I channel the messages here for Leo. So let's see what's going on here, Leo. 313 is on the clock. You could be seeing those synchronicities. Something about corn. Okay, somebody could really love corn. I know I love corn. <laughs> I love corn like really bad. But I'm tasting like corn or something. Okay, corn is significant. Corn on a cob. Uh, elotes. Okay, I love that Mexican corn. <laughs> okay. Something about corn, child. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So we're going to have a Taurus Saturn. Okay, now I'm seeing maybe somebody got a corn on their foot. <laughs> what the fuck? What else? The spirits. Please. Okay, the world. And the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Mars here, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. <laughs> so, um, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, something here could be causing a lot of delays and frustration. Okay, with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, something could be being delayed and postponed. Okay, this could just simply too, I like it could mean that something that someone put their time, effort, and energy into it, they're not getting back what they put in. So let's see. Cause okay, the hierophant, Taurus, seven of cups flipped in reverse. Scorpio Venus. And the three of pentacles so you could be nervous about a partnership or how to make some sort of partnership work here leo i feel like things are going to work in your favor just keep grinding keep working hard okay um you guys will be saying seven 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 there is some sort of illusion here that's broken with the seven of cups in reverse in the world. I feel like with the world, you've closed out a cycle. Something has completed and you're going into a new beginning. Okay. You guys are, somebody here feels whole and complete within themselves. Okay. That's wholeness. That's, you know, you're closing out whatever cycle this is and you're moving forward. And I feel like you feel good about it. Just period. There could be like a sacred contract you're going into. This is like a covenant. This is something that spirit wants you to go into. So whatever somebody is doing to it, it's not working. Just period. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here made a bad investment, a bad choice. Somebody frustrated as hell because something is not working. And it could have something to do with a contract or your faith is just too damn strong. Okay, with the Hierophant. Somebody here trying to get you to conform to something that they want you to do. And I feel like you're not. You're doing what spirit is asking your ass to do. And that's just period. So. Hmm. Somebody here nervous as hell. <laughs> Let's see. I hope this hierophant is not this damn cult coven. I hope this is about a connection that you're in that's just protected and 
I mean, whatever somebody is trying to do to it is just not working. But let's see. What's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? I'm sick of talking about this stupid ass, whack, weak ass cult. Okay, like I'm serious. What's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? They pissing me off. Yeah, two of swords in reverse. Libra moon with seven of pentacles in reverse. Two of swords in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> the ace of pentacles in reverse. <sighs> so somebody here is like somebody has missed an opportunity with the ace of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's finances is being delayed or set back. Okay. Somebody not getting something that they wanted. Because something has been revealed to a swords in reverse. I feel like somebody's like panicking. They stress the hell out. Okay. To a swords in reverse. It's like a decision has been clear. It's already been made. Somebody could be losing cars, homes, properties, jobs. All kind of shit is being lost. What's the ace of pentacles in reverse? And I guess that's just karma. Sounds like that's karma to me, bitch. What else? Okay, yeah. Five of wands. Look at everybody fighting like a the bunch a bunch of fucking idiots. Everybody fighting and shit. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? I mean, yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Wands, child. So there's like competition, fighting, rivalry, because somebody's not getting something that they wanted or whatever they try to do is not working. It was Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Wands. Yeah, justice. What I say about karma, Libra energy, like karma is here. Things are getting ready to balance out. Everything is getting ready to be fair. So what goes up must come down. You bitches getting ready to learn that. Okay, or you're already learning it right now. What's the two of swords in reverse? Yeah, the judgment. Wow, justice next to the judgment. <laughs> yeah, a decision has been made. A, a clear decision has been made here. I feel like you've learned how to forgive. You've let your past go. Um, you've cleared some sort of karmic debt or you've learned some sort of karmic lesson. So something has just been revealed to you and it's clear. It's all clear is what I'm hearing. Somebody could work in a hospital or be a doctor or a paramedic. Okay, because I'm hearing all clear. What's those things that you put on the people to resuscitate them or bring them back to life after they pass away or whatever? I'm hearing like all clear. I don't know, but... Yeah. <laughs> So there's a there's an awakening here. There's a renewal period for you. I feel like you're rising above whatever the fuck this shit is. Somebody here made a bad choice, a bad investment. Now everybody's fighting, arguing, bickering because they shouldn't have did what the fuck they did. And they shouldn't have been trying to compete with you in the first damn place. Or trying to get people to like hurt you or whatever the fuck this is. What's the world? Something could be going on in court too. This could be spiritual court though. What's the world? Doesn't have to be real for it. Yeah, Ten of Swords. What's the world with the Ten of Swords? Uh, yeah, somebody just these <sighs> Aries Venus. So some of y'all are some of y'all could be traveling or moving. There could be a new a new home. Okay, so congratulations. This could also talk about too. You're in a twin flame union. The world with the four wands. I feel like you're in a union that's protected by God. Okay, and your angels, your spirit team support it. Okay, there's a new beginning of stability, security. I feel like a goal has been achieved here because you've overcame some sort of mess or betrayal. It could be a community of people that's trying to betray you or they have already tried to. And they're, they're still trying to because their ass is still popping up. They still popping up. Could be a Gemini son here that's involved. Like, what the fuck? What's a... Uh... These people could have homes and shit like that, like that. Well, I guess, but I meant to say, like, they could be married and everything, and people are still targeting you. Like, what the fuck? What? What? What's? What's the Ten of Swords? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. What's the Ten of Swords? Queen of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> I feel like you close out this cycle here with somebody that was in and out of your life. Okay, and that was a betrayal. Somebody here was trying to cast some sort of illusion over you to keep you stuck with a particular person or they try to keep you stuck with their own self. Okay, while they did whatever the fuck they did. This night of one, somebody here was in and out back and forth. I feel like this is also talking about you. I feel like you set yourself free. But um, 
I feel like you close out this cycle here with whoever this Knight of Wands energy is. Yeah, somebody here has some sort of plan. Three of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Moon, and the Eight of Swords is to keep you trapped and stuck so they can sacrifice you, the Hangman and the Magician. <laughs> this was what their plan was. What's this Knight of Wands? So we can just breeze through this, Leo, because I'm not... I don't feel like talking about these stupid ass people no more. They pissing me off, really. What's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, the Two of Cups. <laughs> What's the Knight of Wands, Two of Cups? Oh, this is their plan. Five of Pentacles. <laughs> So either you're in a relationship now where you actually love this person. I feel like I'm, I'm getting past energy though. There's a relationship here that was that was here where you and this person like mutually respected each other or loved each other or something like that. And I feel like this person here left you out in the cold like a lot. Somebody here left you out in the cold and this was somebody's plan though that's what i'm saying like somebody here i feel like you were very welcoming and nurturing to, to somebody and they fucking treated you like you were nothing i feel like they left you out in the cold neglected you a lot i feel like this is somebody that you actually loved or they, and they loved you too somebody here loved you too but they got caught up in some sort of mess with a group of people because they all fighting over something somebody here has some sort of goal in mind but they were it's like somebody was using someone else to 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 take something from you or do something to you what's the four of wands yeah the high priestess was four of wands high priestess some of you guys could be seen online or in the public eye as a high priestess. You could be a healer with this Queen of Pentacles. What's the Four of Wands with the high priestess? You could be dealing with a uh, Pisces. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Okay, I'm getting a story. I'm just trying to put it together in my head to explain it. Um, <clears throat> somebody here just tries to ruin your relationships all the fucking time. There was a betrayal here with a relationship in the past. Something here caused someone to be in and out. I feel like with the judgment and the justice, you're being vindicated from that. Okay, because somebody had one specific goal in mind, and that was this Ace of Pentacles. Whatever this gift was, whatever this is that somebody needed from you. And I feel like it's because you're very you're a, you're a witch here. For some of you, you could be a healer. You're a witch. Same shit. Okay, you're a high priestess. You bring in a lot of abundance and security and stability. So it's like these people were trying to sacrifice you, basically. We got the Hierophant, the hierophant and the High Priestess. Okay, yeah. I feel like you're now in the Twin Flame Union. You're in the Twin Flame Union here. I feel like somebody's trying to be in and out or trying to come back into your energy. That shit is not working. Instead, they're getting left out in the cold or they're experiencing some sort of poverty or loss. It's because you're now in a covenant. You're in a connection here that's covered. It's sacred. It's a real union. Okay? Like, and you know how to protect yourself with you being a healer. Like, I feel like a lot of y'all know how to protect yourself. Child. You could have Aries in your chart. You could be Aries. Somebody could have Aries in their chart. Or you could or they could or whatever. But yeah, I feel like a goal has been achieved here. This is like a union here coming together. And somebody, is keep they keep on trying to like hex and curse your new beginning or trying to like get in the way of something. This love here is too powerful. Just period. What's this nine of swords? I feel like you're very powerful too. If you're this queen of wands with the high priestess and the four of wands, I feel like you are very powerful here. You are, you could be very sexy too, very sensual, very 
you know, with the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess, that's somebody that's very mysterious. They they have this aura to them that's just out of this world. A lot of people won't probably won't understand you because it's like, well, how do you look like that? Something got to be wrong with you. If you look like that, you can't be this perfect, okay? Somebody here really underestimated you. These people here underestimated you. They don't know who the fuck you are. Or they listen to somebody that thought they knew who you are, and they don't. They're fucking losers. Everybody involved in this shit. And what's this nine of swords? <sighs> Child, the world again. You guys will be saying 21, 21. Let me cover that for a minute. What's the nine of swords with the world? So I get another card to cover it. Seven of cups. Scorpio, Venus. Yeah, we got seven of cups here twice. <sighs> Child, people are delusional. So somebody here is confused. <laughs> somebody is confused. They're scared. They're nervous. Okay. Somebody is having fear, doubt, worry. They're stressed. I don't know if it's you or these people. Yeah, nine of swords, the, the magician, the tower. <laughs> this could be somebody here. Somebody from your past here. The, the same stupid hoe that's still trying to get in the way of your partnerships. They're trying to ruin this one, bitch. Yeah, the backfire is going to be deadly. Same shit I just told, what, Pisces? Yeah, this one is not to be fucked with. Whatever this union is, is a real sacred divine union. This is not one of them flunky ass losers that you dated in the past. <laughs> okay, this is not one of them. Somebody here needs to leave y'all. Yeah, the lovers and the hierophant. This is a, a really divine, yeah, the ace of cups. This is like you and God. God wants you to be with whoever this is. Just period. So somebody here needs to back the fuck off. Hopefully they're getting the fucking picture. They're getting the memo. What's the seven of cups upright? They in for a root of awakening. Yeah, seven of swords. What's seven of cups with the seven of swords? I don't like how that came out. What's seven of cups, seven of swords? Aquarius moon. Yeah, and the ten of pentacles. Yeah, somebody here was trying to steal a new beginning or steal something from you. They were trying to be sneaky and do something or trying to ruin some shit. <laughs> this could be somebody in your family so this person could already be married okay they're already in a relationship but this could be somebody in your family somebody you got kids with this person i feel like now they're trying to run away because they're they're still they're like confused as to why something is not working bitch it don't even matter. It's just not working. Just accept it and move the fuck on. I feel like this person have taken a lot to build on their own. Like to build their own shit. To build their own life. They've taken a lot from you and probably other people. <laughs> like what the fuck? This, this shit is just ridiculous. I'm sick of reading on this shit. I, I promise. What's the Hierophant? I'm not even spend, finna spend too much time. I feel like something is protected too is covered. Seven of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like that's like you don't want to be detected. You're keeping your life private or whatever this is you got going on. Just period. Somebody is trying to steal abundance, uh, wealth to build for themselves. Like, what's the hierophant? It's just like this person keep doing the same shit. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Yeah, bitch. It's time to fucking. Somebody here needs to get ready to get geared up to go to hell or jail or both. Like, real shit. What's the hierophant with the Eight of Swords? Yeah, the King of Swords. Wow, yeah, this is somebody, this is your spirit team or somebody getting ready to really go to jail. I mean, I see the Justice, Judgment, the Eight of Swords and the King of Swords. Somebody's going to spirit, ritual jail <laughs> or they're going to real jail or both. Or both. Just period. <laughs> somebody is scared as fuck. They're so scared, Eight of Swords. They're scared as hell. There could be some sort of fast changes that could be coming in for you, Leo. Because I feel like this person has been trying to do this. They've been trying to access something of yours, bitch. And they keep getting denied. Spirit is tired of this person. It's like, bitch, enough is enough. You done did enough damage. Somebody has already learned their fucking lesson. You don't need to keep trying to attack somebody, bitch. Thank you for being a catalyst. Move the fuck on. Your time is up. What's this King of Swords? 
This King of Swords, let me see, who this King of Swords? The Empress. Who the King of Swords with the Empress? I feel like that's Archangel Michael protecting you here, Empress, but what's the, okay, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. <laughs> so, so delays, setbacks, somebody's experiencing some really bad fucking karma. <clears throat> It's like opposing forces too. So somebody here, this could be what somebody is trying to do in the present and you're experiencing delays and setbacks and shit like that, but that shit about to come to an end. Because I feel like what this person did this shit, as you were transitioning and coming from out of some sort of like a uh, bind already, and I feel like they've been doing this shit. This is something that's ritualistic and they don't know what you stepped into. So as they were trying to do this, they got met with your spirit team, bitch. They got met with your spirit team. That's what happened. It's like, aha, I caught your ass. Just period. Yeah, somebody got caught. Knight of Pentacles, the Tower, the Magician, and the Nine of Swords. Something here blew up on this bitch. And now it's like, it's done. Somebody here needs to leave it alone. Leave you the fuck alone. What's this Will of Fortune in reverse? The Hierophant. Yeah, God is here. <laughs> I feel like this Hierophant talks about God. Some of y'all could be definitely um, spiritual gurus, spiritual teachers. You have high ranking. You have really big ranking. And I feel like this is your divine masculine too. It's like there's a divine masculine here hidden in plain sight that's protecting you as well. Their spirit team is stepping in as well. We got the Hierophant here twice. You guys will be seeing 555. Five, five. Then we got the High Priestess, Four Wands. This is like a union. What's the Eight of Swords? Yeah, and the Three of Pentacles coming out again. <laughs> Child, three, three, three on the clock. Yeah, this is like a um, a collaboration you're in, you're in. It's like a contract. It could be three people here that's scared as fuck. What's the Eight of Swords with this Three of Pentacles? Four of Pentacles. <laughs> People scared as hell. That's all I'm gonna say. I feel like there's a need for you to really keep faith because there could be setbacks and delays, but baby, your spirit team is on this shit like heavy. They getting ready to get this bitch for sure. Or these hoes like really bad. Okay. They getting ready to get them. Like bad ass. These people are greedy, they're selfish, they're possessive, controlling. I feel like there's somebody that's been trying to hold on to you and keep you stuck. And I feel like you've learned your lesson from the past. You've already learned your lesson. And now you're in a, in a nice partnership. Now somebody's scared. Because they shouldn't be attacking you or your partnerships anyway. Even if they were raggedy, it don't matter. What's the seven of cups in reverse? <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Wow, the Emperor. What's the Seven of Cups in reverse with the Emperor? The King of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. This King of Cups and this Emperor been coming out like real heavy. Really heavy. They've been coming out together. This Emperor, this Divine Masculine that's in the collective as a whole, this person got a spirit guide that don't play about this person. And they damn sure not playing about whoever this person is with. The Empress, that's you. Okay, like this person work close with somebody too, whether they know it or not. Because I feel like this masculine is more on the practical side. They're probably not as spiritual, but they're open to spirituality. I feel like you need somebody like that anyway, because you're already spiritual. But baby, it's like you got double the protection, everything. So this could be somebody here that's really in love with you. Like their heart is open. They love you. They want to be with you. Ain't nothing fucking an illusion. Seven of Cups in reverse is... Not an illusion. Something here is balanced. Your yin and yang is balanced. Their yin and yang is balanced. Y'all come together. Everything is balanced. Two of Pentacles is like somebody being open to change, adapting to change. Like, I mean, what's the Emperor and the King of Cups? Yeah, the Ace of Wands, period. Exactly. So that's that new beginning. This person's finances could be balanced out. Their stability, their structure, and stability, okay. <clears throat> okay somebody 
somebody is Big Daddy. <laughs> well, whoever this emperor is, this King of Cups, and this damn Ace of Wands. This person ain't confused about a goddamn thing. They know exactly what they want. This person could be getting pushed into their purpose as well. This Divine Masculine. I mean, clearly y'all got a purpose together. Okay. But that Ace of Wands is like accepting a challenge. This person is like, yeah, well, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up the good fight. I'm still going to be with my, my woman or my man. And that's just that. Like, nobody's going to make me move out the way. <laughs> like, that's what this energy is trying to do. Make you move out the way. Make them move out the way so that way they these hoes could have access to you. And that's why they're not getting shit right now. Because it's like, bitch, y'all bitches are so fucking lazy and pathetic and just clown the fuck out. Like, why don't you bitches ever want to get a job? If Like, you don't even have to do black magic. Why don't you do magic, healing magic to fucking heal your raggedy ass finances? Like, why don't you bitches ever try to do that? Why are you doing black magic to continue to take from somebody? These are some satanic ass hoes, just period. They satanic. This some devil shit. Like this is what they they this is what they do. Just period. This is what they do. What's the three of pentacles? The knight of cups. What's three of pentacles? Knight of cups. Seven of pentacles. We got the seven of pentacles up right here in reverse over here. So definitely whatever they stole, whatever is going on right here, they're not getting shit, a damn dime or anything. They ask, in fact, they're getting ready to lose everything. That's what's happening. And the seven of pentacles with the knight of cups upright is this is you going into this union here with your partner. This is you and this person building, collaborating together, working together, putting our skills together to build a life with each other. Just period. Your ships are coming in. Seven of pentacles, the hard work that you put in is getting ready to come back to you tenfold. You're getting ready to receive the achievements, the awards, the rewards for whatever your hard work is or whatever you did. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, the Ace of Swords, the truth. Ace of, Ace of Swords, okay? Truth and clarity is here. Clear thinking, focus, determination, okay? Victory, success, like... <clears throat> Child... So there's some sort of good news coming in. I feel like um, this could be too. Somebody here could be brainstorming uh, ideas and trying to get focused on what it is that they, they're they they're trying to invest into. Or Spirit is just letting you know too that they're confirming that you made a good investment. Whoever it is that you're dating is your person. That's your match. Regardless of what hardships are coming. Hardships as in like somebody just going through a transformation and they need time to get their mind right and they shit together. Not hardships as somebody here keep ghosting you. They're in and out back and forth. They want to keep reconciling, but don't. they don't want to change. Like, I'm not talking about those kind of hardships. Like, cheaters and liars and whatever. Those aren't hardships. That's somebody that just doesn't give a fuck about you. Just period. So, what's this Knight of Cups? Yep, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there's some sort of good news coming in, too, about your business. Or you're already good at something. This could be like a spiritual upgrade. Okay, wow, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be getting ready to start a family. The good news could be that a baby is coming as well. Um, this could be a birth of a new business, like an idea that you have. You're going to put it together. You and this person going to put your, <clears throat> your assets and shit together and build a life. That's just period. Like, just period. That's all there is to it. It is. So let's keep moving because I'm not <laughs> 28, 28 on the clock. So we got moonlit, embrace uncertainty. Who had that? Day moon, love. Yeah, bottom of the deck is the moon's wisdom. Take the lead. So you could be kind of like uncertain about what's going on right now. But just know that your spirit team has your back. And you made the right decision by choosing whoever you've chosen. You will know. You will feel it deep in your core, in your heart. You will feel it. So it says, there's something miraculous about seeing the moon during the day. Agreed. 
And there's something even more miraculous about love. There's also something miraculous afoot, quite possibly to do with love when you draw this card. It suggests that although there still may be challenges and aren't there always challenges in relationships, you have a relationship that's worth thinking about. Yeah. Love is dawning. Love is rising like the day moon. If you're in a troubled relationship of any kind, personal or professional, take this card as a sign that the toughest obstacles are behind you. The way to find partnership happiness now is to remove your ego from the situation and allow the purity of your feelings to guide you. If you're attracted to someone, this card is a sign to show your feelings. Even in a non-romantic situation, the message of this card is similar. It's crucial, crucial to show someone else involved in your question how you feel. Your feelings are important than your ego. Better days are dawning. Bluer skies are ahead of you. Live for love and love will live for you. Nice. Additional meanings for this card. It says something unexpected is about to happen. Stay tuned. A secret is about to be exposed. Working with the moon will help you now. Life is what you make it and it's time to start seeing life's magic. So it says about this symbol, as the moon moves into her quarter moon phases, especially after full moon, conditions develop for us to have a day moon. Example, to see the, the moon during the day because she's far enough away from the sun and rises or sets during daylight. Oh, hmm, interesting. So yeah, I told you this relationship is going to prosper. There might be challenges, baby, but challenges are only here because you got people in your energy trying to keep doing spell work or trying to like stay in your energy or whatever the fuck. Everybody's getting their karma, just period. Everybody's getting their fucking karma. So spirit is saying embrace uncertainty. Take a leap of faith, you know. So this is your reading leo i hope this resonated for you like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings and i will talk to you guys later bye